Today, President Barchi is going to be giving an address on the state of the university. At the same time, we're in negotiations with the university, and we're here to show support for each other. Staying together, bargaining for the common good, so that the work that we do has to be as important to Barchi as his own contract. Together we will win! It was clear right from the outset that people are really angry at how much disrespect has been shown to faculty, staff and students. And it's going to be our voice that's going to make the campus what it is. Stop throwing hundreds of millions that came from the work that we did and the tuition that you paid. Twelve million dollars in golden parachutes for people who left in disgrace. We're looking at a situation where our institution could be privatized. I'm here to take a stand. I'm fed up with it. I've been dealing with Whenever we have a situation where there's not a lot of money to be made, frequently the people who are most vulnerable get kind of pushed away. Como el mayor empleador, que es Rocker en Brunswick, tiene una gran responsabilidad. Siempre las uniones son importantes porque la unión es la voz de la comunidad y de los trabajadores. We need justice for the people who work here. So people of color, working class folks, of all backgrounds, we're gonna fill that room and we're gonna let them know. Now we're all arranged in the back room where we're gonna have the University Senate, which includes President Barchi talk. So let's talk for a minute about the unionized workforce. The old contract continues, so they are totally protected by that deal. Well, settle the case. Come on up and talk to us. Negotiation has been characterized by foot dragging, reluctance, and lack of respect from the management side. The contract was going to end in, in July. The university did not begin conversations until March, and they have dedicated less than eight hours per month to these contract discussions. And my salary today is the same salary that I had in the spring. So I don't know where this 30% increase is coming from. This is another management tactic. Base salary has not gone up. It's the bonuses. Those have ratcheted way up so that he's earning $800,000. You know that PTLs are still undercompensated. When I look at the budget and all those numbers, I'm just thinking, like, where is my paycheck? We end up working probably 80 hours a week or more. So that's a little over $30,000 a year. I wanted to know what he thinks would be a fair wage. I am an SAS Senator from New Brunswick. Um, I stand in proud solidarity with the faculty union behind me. Um, uh, we had agreed uh, that we would take an hour of uh, President Barchi's time. I was asked if I wanted meeting. to speak. So please join me in thanking him for spending time. He had to pretty much run out one of the fire doors. And he didn't as much as have the respect to stay and to listen to all of their questions and to engage them. Tuition raises every year, and yet our wage for working here is, just stays the same. He always says that he's here to serve the students, and yet he never lets us speak. We are underpaid. We deserve more. He always says that we don't have the money, but we clearly do. Over $800 million, actually, in unrestricted reserves. I definitely think that this administration has failed miserably in listening to the voices of those who it purports to serve. Where do we rank in debt? I think we saw Barchi nervous because there were so many of us and from so many different constituencies, and there is a solidarity. The people united will never be